born as Mark William Callaway in Houston, Texas. During childhood, just like many other kids across the world, he was also a big fan of wrestling. As he grew older, Mark became interested in basketball and played for his school and university teams. When he was in the university, Mark received an offer to play for the pro basketball league in Europe. But one day, when he was working out in a local gym, he met a stranger. The person was recruiting for a wrestling school and offered him a chance to be part of it. When Mark entered the school, he noticed one thing that there were not many tall wrestlers who can move around fast in a wrestling ring. All these years of playing and training for basketball has made him fast. At that time, Mark realized he would probably be a better wrestler than a basketball player. But Mark was not sure wrestling was and still is a highly competitive business where only a few of hundreds and thousands of struggling wrestlers actually succeed. Time was running out. He had to make a decision that will change his life. Finally, after thinking a lot, Mark met his oldest brother. His brother told him something which he will never forget. He told him, for all the decisions you make in life, you only have to answer to yourself. Live life as you want. After that, Mark knew what he has to do. He left the university and started training at the wrestling school. He has found a goal in his life. He knew he would do everything to become a professional wrestler. He lived in his truck, worked as a bouncer in bars, while at the same time training as hard as he can. But he didn't knew anyone in the wrestling business. He was all alone. Every Wednesday, he used to go down to the Dallas Portatorium where WCCW matches used to take place, hoping that someday someone will notice him. He sat there at the office where people walked right by him. No one noticed him or even said a small hello. He did that for eight months, week after week, but always came back empty-handed. There were days he doubted himself, thought he was wasting his time, nothing is going to happen. But he still continued sitting on that chair in that office every Wednesday. And one day, the owner of WCCW, Fritz Eric, walked in the room. He looked at Mark, didn't say anything, and went to another room. Mark reminded Fritz Eric of his oldest son, who had just passed away. He called Mark back into his office, and that day booked him for his first match. Mark made his debut as the masked Texas Red in 1984 and went on to become one of the greatest wrestlers in the history of professional wrestling. He is now known and loved across the world as The Undertaker.